YouTube, what's going on? Hey, welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking Sleeve, where I show you what I'm cooking. Today we're doing some whole chickens on the barbecue grill. I've already got them going, so we'll get you get a little sneak peek. Woo, nice and toasty. It was uh, raining earlier, but uh, it's cleared up pretty nice, so we got some good weather now. It's a little humid out here, but uh, we're going to show you how to do it. All right. Roll the intro! Take the chickens out of the freezer to full! Cold water bath. Alright, we're gonna do a charcoal pattern along the side there. With a piece of aluminum foil, make a tray to hold the hickory chips. Wood! Why are you cooking wood? Oh, because it's going to give it a good flavor. Now you can eat wood. <laughs> no, we're not going to eat it. But, but it's going to uh, smoke for us. Alright, so it's going to give a good flavor to the meat. No, we're not gonna eat it. All right, let's put the lid on. Get it smoking in there real good. Leave it just about a halfway vent for right now, and then uh, just get a little airflow and we'll cut it down. These are the spices and seasonings that I use for the chicken in this video, but you can experiment with different combinations to make your own unique flavor. To save a little time for cleaning and preparation, I chose to use this 100% avocado oil spray instead of rubbing the chicken with an oil. But you could easily do that as well. Treehall steak seasoning. A little goes a long way on this. Just leave that lid on tight while we wait. We're gonna throw a little baseball. All right, it's been about half an hour. We're gonna take a little peek and then uh, flip these guys. Yeah, they're starting to already look pretty darn good. So we're gonna rotate them 180 and keep them going. Depending on the temperature of your grill and the size of your chickens, cook time could be anywhere between one and a half to three hours. Low and slow, the longer the better. During this time, continue to rotate the chickens about every 30 minutes. The chickens are done when they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. If you do not have a cooking thermometer, a good indication of this is when the juices coming out of the chicken run clear. All right, it's been another half an hour. I did add a couple little bricks to charcoal. It's kind of humid out here, so we're not getting uh, like uh, super heat out of the, the fire. So I figured I could add a couple more. But those things are starting to look really nice. We're gonna do another uh, 180 flip and keep it going for another half an hour. I lost my cameraman momentarily. So we're gonna see if I can uh, do this one-handed while I film it. Not too bad. Went to check on my cameraman and he passed out on me. It's all right, we'll make him up a plate and save it for later. All right, it's been about another half an hour. We're gonna do another turn. 
I'm just gonna keep letting them go, low and slow. Uh, stir up the chips here. Ooh, that's still nice and warm. We'll do another flip. I'm not gonna film this one. You guys get the point. But we're just gonna keep doing it. We're gonna do some fries in the air fryer and some organic green beans. We're gonna steam those. All right. All right, time to pull these birds off. Onto the silver platter. Do a little flyby. Bay for your fries. All right, everything's ready to go. All right, let's carve into one of these beasts. All right, YouTube, let's get you in there. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, there's a flyby. All right, YouTube, we're gonna eat. Hope you enjoyed this episode of What's Cooking Sleeve, and until next time, I'm Sleeve1080. See ya.